This is a teacher's guide for ocean unit study and early elementary student notebook just to show you for example. This is probably the most beautifully done unit study so far. I really love all the illustrations and all the pictures. With every unit study you will receive a list of books, supplemental activities, ocean themed shows and movies, this is new for Gather Around. And then again, as a standard, you get 20 lessons in each unit, every lesson dedicated to a certain creatures in the ocean. So it's more like a science unit. See animal studies. In every lesson, you get about three to four creatures that you are studying. This one has quite a bit of animals. Now lesson three, for example, all about sharks, and it gives you several different kinds of sharks. And now I'll give you an example of what other supplements we use for each lesson. For example, for lesson about sharks, we really enjoy this book, Who Would Win? Hammerhead with Bull Shark. My little one really enjoys this book. This is another book we read for this lesson. This is Shark Lady. Also, we used this Great White Shark Scientist book. This is a series of scientist books about ocean animals. We also used this Ocean Monsters. This is a great book because you can download an app and you can interact with these animals virtually through your phone. There is other animals, not just sharks. This is, would be the great fit for this lesson. The other fun thing we've done is this beautiful puzzle. You can create three creatures out of one box, and I highly recommend this Lego. This is very fun for children of any age. So you can build shark, crab, fish of the deep, and a squid. For sea turtle lesson, I'll show you also what we've used. In this lesson, you'll study about three different kinds of turtles. And this is the books we used for this lesson. This life-size ocean book is so gorgeous. It's very beautiful, and I highly recommend you to get this one. It's not only about turtles, but it's about all kinds of different sea creatures, and it's very beautifully done. And the best part is that it's actually life-size. You can pretty much use this book for all of this unit. So Life Size Ocean. Also, this book is really fitting for this lesson because it's all about sea turtle rescues. This book is dedicated to turtles alone. So many different facts, so many interesting stories. And then again, from this series of scientists, we used this book about sea turtle. And it tells you everything you need to know about turtles and how you can protect them too. Okay, for lesson eight about giants of the sea, where we study about whales, we used this supplement, Killer Whale Book. It's one for little readers, very easy to read. So this series, we really love this blue whale picture book. It's nicely done. This one also was fun addition to this unit. This is Moby Dick. My children didn't really like too much this book, but it has uh, facts and information about whales, which is just nice to scroll through. And there is a big pictures that you can open like this, and it's quite interactive. Now we also use Ocean Wonders, which is again, just a table book to come and look through the pictures, read a couple of facts. This is kind of books that I just randomly put in a house and children come and look through it whenever they bored. This is a good way to create atmosphere of unit while you're studying certain things. I just randomly put books throughout the house about the topic and children accidentally in the brackets learning stuff. Ocean Wonders. Then I happen to have this little book in my house and I really love this series. I wish I could have all of them. This is more like interactive book. You can see different things if you turn the pages very nicely done. It's very fun for little children to go through. Now, the fun activity we've done is also paint by sticker under the sea. My girls really love this activity and they ask me to get them more books like this. This is a good book when your children need some quiet time and they can spend hours doing these stickers. Giant Squid Lesson 2 is a very short lesson, but let me show you which books we use with this lesson. This Giant Squid book is highly recommended. It's a very fascinating book. Just quickly show you the pictures. It's very impressive, and the art here is very beautiful. Again, you can open this 
pages and see the John's greed attacking you. It's so fun. Then this little fun book my little girl really loved. I'm a biggest thing in the ocean. This is the other book I got for my children. This is how to draw ocean animals. So whenever a lesson is very short and my children need something to do, you can handle them this book and they can learn to draw. They can learn how to draw sea creatures. And, it's, um, and I like this book because it shows steps, not very complicated. Very great book. Then in lesson 17, you will learn about coral habitats or coral reef. For this lesson, I highly recommend you these books, In the Sea by David Elliott. Very beautiful and colorful book. I also recommend Alba and the Ocean Cleanup, a story about saving our oceans. This is related to coral reef. We want to keep it clean. And we also used Coral Reefs by Gail Gibbons. So this one is all about coral reefs in a very beautiful pictures and it's done nicely. Now I want to show you quickly Ocean uni study students notebooks this is how i organize them as you could tell from my previous videos about units in each lesson children will have to work on science there is language arts this is language arts learning about how to publish your writing then again we have science about tides and then at the end they have art they can draw their own sea star this is for example lesson 19 also we have science while i'm reading them from teachers guide about eels they they fill in the information in these boxes this is about habitat appearance interesting facts and then they choose their kind of eels they want to talk about or research and i want to show you another books that i've used and another fun things we've done so this is a beautiful gorgeous book we used to add to this unit this is more like encyclopedia style books the big book of blue is probably doesn't need more introduction because it's so popular and it's very fun and interactive. Then very famous ocean anatomy. This is just a general information or you can use this book if you're doing sketching. Then we love to use this Atlas of Ocean Adventure, which again, a beautifully, beautifully done book. Then we love Smithsonian books, all kinds of them. Whatever you can find, they're all good. This is sort of an encyclopedia style book. This is Ultimate Oceanpedia from National Geographic Kids. I love this, the, the same as Smithsonian. It's also full of facts and beautiful photos. This is a series of books that talks about ecosystem, and this one is Ocean. I really love these books too because they're very colorful and very nicely done. This one is Ocean Animal, Animal Planet series. Also very beautifully done books. You don't have to have all of them, of course, not to overwhelm children. But if you can find this couple of, or maybe three or four books like that, that would be very great to spread around the house while you study in the ocean. So this one in the ocean, National Geographic Kids, this one the same, also about dolphins. They have all kinds of different books about different animals. Now for the fun things to do with your kids, I highly recommend this Go Fish game. Then I also recommend you, if you have artists in your family, this Watercolor With Me book in the ocean. You can color right in this book, but this is, tells you what colors you have to use and uh, all kind of ocean creatures. Very suited to this unit. Now I want to show you quickly picture books that we loved to add to this unit. This is about famous scientist Mar Mary Tharp who was doing a map of the ocean floor. Some edition of these books I like, some not so much because they are very biased by feminist movement. But this one is okay. The Ocean, Exploring a Blue Planet. This one is a little bit biased, but you decide for yourself. It's kind of on the negative side of the things. You always will see people with angry faces and how everybody was upset and no very positive book, in my opinion. If you have choice, I would rather pick this one, Marie Thorpe. This is the other book from that scientist series about octopus. The other book is quickly show to you is a specific ocean. The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles is a nicely done book. It's a beautiful pictures, watercolors, and drawings. 
Now, for your high elementary children, I would recommend these reading books. My daughter, who is nine, enjoyed these reading books. This is A Whale in Paris, A Reign of Endless Light, and her favorite was Island of the Blue Dolphins. My elementary one also loved this book and she read it. This one would be also suitable when you study oceans. Red sails to cup. And just four other books that I want to recommend to you. This is from Master Books Ocean Study. This is more on the side of textbook. But if you want to dig, dig deeper into some topic, you can use this book. We also love this uh, children's encyclopedia, Ocean. Now this book is something. This is a very interactive book. Children can spend some time sitting and just scrolling through the pages, reading this little fact, looking at the beautiful pictures. If you are a fan of vintage style, you would enjoy this book. The other book I highly recommend to you is uh, 20,000 Ye Under the Sea. It's written by Jules Verne and it's a very great adventure book for maybe middle school or high school. So this book based on this Jules Verne book. I just scroll for you so you can see how gorgeous this book is. Pictures are fascinating. There's little things like that included too. You can open some envelopes and find additional information or like a coins or something. Yeah. Very neat. I must say I'm I'm impressed. Creatures of the Deep. This is beautiful book. Now the other book, this I absolutely love, you must get it. This is Into the Deep. absolutely must have into the deep exploration of our oceans. All right, and that's it for ocean unit studies. I hope you found something that you can incorporate in your unit studies too. Thank you so much for watching, and I have a couple of other videos about unit studies from Gather Round. If you are interested, please check them out, and I see you soon.